After the fact that Sony did nothing with Freedom Wars and its success at Hell Novita, I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in hell of anything being done with this IP, despite how cool it was and especially the Thor mechanic of this game. Only for Bandai Namco to be like accurate remastering it as gonna be multi-platform. I hope that means cross-play so we can populate the servers with as many people as freaking possible. And this also means chance for a freaking sequel could possibly happen, because I remember the ending building up to some Something even greater, and I freaking want that. But oh my god, it just just out of nowhere, because it's freaking Wars Remaster. Out of nowhere, just 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 suddenly happens. Just suddenly freaking happens. I I, I, I don't even know how to do multi-platform this time. I could have sworn Sony owned the IP, but nope. No, 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 that's just, just happening. It's coming out of nowhere. People are popping off. Twitter is blowing up. Freedom Wars fan base is blowing up. People don't know what's even going on. But I'm freaking hype. <laughs> It's just, just Freedom Wars Remaster. Just suddenly have, just suddenly happen. It just suddenly happened. It just suddenly happened. It's happening now. <laughs> oh my God! And there's already confirmation of Creed Resolution. I mean, to be expected. 4K resolution support. Okay, to be expected. New difficulty level settings. That's interesting. And overhaul to weapon crafting. Alright, alright, interesting. I hope they give you more reward for fully com fully depleting your entire sentence this time. Because they got like a little thing at the end with the first game where you fully completed that, and the characters did also acknowledge it. But I hope we get something bigger because I just want I just want to know this could possibly lead to a sequel because this game did great on Vita, and I hope more people jump into this. This is the game I got into before I started playing Monster Hunter at my friend's behest because he didn't know why I like Freedom War so much. But now I can show him why I like Freedom Wars so much. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. It just freaky happened. It just freaky happened. And fading back in, because apparently we got an entire PlayStation blog post about this. The first game's producer, Junior Ashino, getting interviewed with Kingsburg, Joe first release 2014. Action game for the world setting, which is the moment you were born. So that's uh huh, my premise. Main goals, important points. To feature that game's three dimensional combat using thorns. Yeah, the token and shoot out thorns from their left hands, engage high speed three dimensional combat like wire action. Should come at assist, or set trap, recovery, defense. Yes, possibly use the thorns form. Actually, rip apart the limbs, weapons, large enemies have been attached to thorns. Recapture gameplay, huh? Where you have to save civilians by literally carrying them to the goal. Save them. Mm hmm. Okay, so this is all the stuff we've known before. I think we're looking for any of the touch ups or changes to it. There we go. Due to increased specs in hardware for the PS Vita, graphics have been made higher resolution with texture, movies, PS4 versus 4K, with PS4 4 versions, supposed to frame rate 60 FPS. The UI has been brushed on much current consoles, control has been optimized for my taste, the paper has been adjusted. Okay, it's funny because I played the game on the PS TV running the Vita itself, so I'm kind of used to playing the game with controller. Just from the original balance adjustments and system improvements for a more comfortable gameplay. The full tape paper to AI enemies have been reviewed and the game's balance has been adjusted. In addition, the production function has been completely improved. The system for producing and restricting weapons has been overhauled, making the game more comfortable to play. Trial player review. The controls make it easier to play and the battle freedom becomes even more enjoyable. Demo is a PS5 version, play the card beginning the story, the challenge to volunteer, the little friends of the game, by first pictorial, uh -huh. first part layout differently depending on the artist operation type, thorn type, shooter type, hunter type, player shoot the two, to suit the fact that the PS Vita only has one L and R button, it's one of the arrow action shooters and operation method was adopted in this game. So there's no different controller types. So that's been particularly easy to use, PS5 defaults to shoot thorns. Okay, so we could have got the controller types. In both my disc core quarter the the face buttons do not perform any attack action allowing players to play with the familiar modern bu button controls. Interesting. By the way, customer screen can freely choose the button assignments. There we go. Freakly choose. Ooh. Customize it completely, right? It just sets. Nice. Actually, can then put a celebrated strategy. Speak of the combat freedom ones. Best press action thorns. The like wire action. Aha. Uh -huh. I love the freaking door mechanic. Watch up higher. Use thorns. Be able to fly around the air. Yup. We'll push more game uses mechanic. But Freedom Wars is back. Freedom Wars can reclaim its crown of thorn mechanic. With a large enemy, you choose to dive to attack. Mm -hmm. Interchanges for the remaster. Use thorn action, increase. Mission with three objectives to achieve. Specification involves delayed the delayed for different types. Rescue. Uh huh. 
Snatch is very difficult to change directional usual because the health capital loves enemies. This case resort to crazy before a risky swim. Requires feed an enemy, but requires very scared all the students as quickly as possible. So have mission one for your accessory because it'll be because it'll be taken. Pressure to see controls on the lower to the operations for the force approaches to control system. Capture flag type of mission. Mm-hmm. Criminals all direction restricted. So I don't have the restrictions where you can't even talk to people and you need a different party to talk to someone of the opposite gender in this game. That kind of crazy, that kind of stuff. Just restrictions. Uh huh. Part and points. Yep. Yeah, yep. Some usual fun or more. I'm able to approach members of the opposite sides in two meters. In terms of the game system, means the things you can do are being increased. Each option is so minute that makes you keenly aware of how unfriendly criminals are treated in the world. The system's a weapon development, let's release them and they'll be able to train new characters. This trial play, the system was already unlocked. Uh -huh. So, you need to appeal both actual world view and made die hard French and original. You know, so many people would never played it, but we hope you experience an edgy <laughs> world view. Edgy. I mean, that's not wrong. The fun of cooperative play and remaster of virtue is basically. Ooh, interview. The fellow bros want a reboot. So, the world view is with more fans to face really surveillance society. Rich is depressed when you say it like that. Uh -huh. Right, so you know, let's see, so why you decided to revive Freedom more than 10 years. I wanted to make a sequel, which was released 10 years ago, but the opportunity never came. This time, we were blessed opportunity to develop it with Bandai Namco, which I had Bandai Namco produce it, so it's also the turning point of the anniversary we decided to do it at this timing. It was eventually released by Sokabir Entertainment, next to Detroit Active Entertainment, SIE. How come to be released by Bamco? Seeing me the license for SME decided to create a remastered version when we're looking for a publisher, Bamco raised their hand. Oh, so sorry, actually. I guess this guy sold them the IP? Huh. I honestly didn't think Sony would do anything like that really with their IPs. Tetna, like when they're not using them, they still hold them close to their heart, you know? Would you say the appealing point we might have heard people played the original 10 years ago? Many complained that people played a few years ago is the lack luck element of weapon striking was strong when we released it in the Rayla era. It'd be hard and hard to make people do the do gotcha. Heard about this, I told them let's definitely change that. That the web production character growth are easier to enjoy than action or RPG. Alright. The original was for the portable P TV. PS Vita. It stands for the home console. Any difficult to remaster it. Which was 10 years ago, be a cool development period. The data is even older. For all first, oh, I'll let the data are raffled. It's going by one by one. Which I think was difficult, it's typical of a remaster. Like I said, I technically put it on the console to PSTV. <laughs> How do you go up and create a new control system to change the hardware? To a genre, it was a TPS. Since there's not enough buttons to do the Vita, we paired the various operation types to cover it. This time, some more buttons, but that'd be easier to play if we made it closer to the general TPS operation. So, a new operation system based on operations with aiming with L2 and shooting R2. Alright. You can control the remaster version as original. There are any clear control options. We can free customize controls. If you prefer classic, you can change the button layout. All right, they said freely done. Is there crossplay? Crossplay is not implemented. Online platform is available. On oh, <laughs> man, I need these lobbies populated, man. PS4 built up online multiplayer with max matching and rankings being shared. And oh yeah, for thank you for the Japanese dub only. Mm -hmm. English voice by DLC. Just trying to start to spread the game overseas. We can record new English voices, and the voices for the accessory are also in English. I need to hear that voice cast, please. One of the points of versions that can be played in languages other than Japanese. So we want to continue. So I think they about having everyone pick up this remaster version. It would be possible to create new possibilities for the next step. Oh, you're gearing up for a sequel, right? So the voice actors recorded voice for accessories. Why did you decide to use synthesized voices? Now that we are in a very place, but 10 years ago, since the project was quite a challenge. However, we still used it because it did make it make, make it speak whatever whatever words we wanted. This android that wants ma manages, but if you get your rights, you can change androids lines with I'll rescue you or please fight to your liking. Then they start to feel attached to it and want to have a strange feeling being attached to it, even though you're being martyred. When you eventually get to the point where you can say, She's my wife. I like a new game feel will be created by a sense of morality. If like we choose good results to force of androids according to a sense of immersion. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Also new anyone added the original was in the original version. What we want to do is to try to change the original as much as possible, especially for the story. If we were to make a sequel, then people would be looking forward to that part, so I decided to change decided to take a chance to write a new story when making a sequel. And you're making a sequel, yes? <laughs> you make sequel, yes? With the weapons and enemies remain the same as original. The new weapons or enemies added because one of the DLC is at least the original version. I think there are a few people with this original version who made possible play for the fun the beginning. So there are more songs. We have a good approach and call Propaganda Idol, which is like what we now call Vitamins. <laughs> I mean, when you say it like that, 
a remastered version of the song so you can join in the game. A special version of Move Voice for Sensory by default. There are four patterns for each gender from the start for a total of eight patterns. Nice. With the AI barrier adjustments going in the game balance adjustments. Special version, you have enemies, characters were very strong. We see feedback reviews about this. I don't know, kind of just uses a freaking machine gun for human enemies. Which at the behavior getting this time the aim at the player with 100% aim while moving. Oh, well, I thought it was quite an advanced move for a normal enemy to do. We one of the rules of normal enemies, which just to become more difficult to, to, to defeat them. For example, more satisfying to defeat them in terms of new elements related to normal enemies. They now drop recovery items and combat items. This covered other games. Elements that was not original version recovery fun after defeating normal enemies into the game design. Which is a battle between city states competing against each other in regions. Belong to the setting. Starts to make Japan the theme, so players will be able to play on a map of Japan. The original version was played on a world map, which is to a map of Japan. Where other seas belong to Japanese prefectures of Tokyo or Okinawa compete against each other in regional matches. You play this game now, you might think I didn't know there was a game like this. It might feel like a new game. You order three months to get a pretty extreme dystopia, pretty since one million years, even running being a violation. How do you come with this worldview? The origin was I think at the time that everyone is being monitored and controlled somewhere. It wanna make the oppression and be controlled more understandable. I thought it'd be good to make the process of trying to win your freedom a little at a time by good doing good deeds. Like you can mileage points from there, the cycle of play playing where you pay pay back each number of years. Imprisonment little by little, the elements that they Increase the prisma are extremely, are particularly extreme. Like a prisma of walking, prisma of sleeping, from talking to the opposite sex, but doing so still being feeling is heightened because of the wor work was event. I the idea that winning was just a little freedom, but it's a sense of pleasure. It's a freedom more in this day and age, with the more from success with the worldview of the game system. We have a good chance of winning in both areas. There are a lot of games with a story atmosphere, but 10 years ago, the market was Japan and Asia, and it didn't sell well in other regions. So people overseas play this game now and think there's a game like this, because they got a new game, particularly hoping that the worldview will give people a new feeling with a 1 million years of imprisonment, a volunteer rescue, prison and android accessories, that the system are turning imprisonment by completing missions called volunteering would appealing would be appealing and then one of the points I want to challenge. It was like people feel feel more under surveillance trap than they did 10 years ago. But social media is just a social surveillance camera. People feel under surveillance now more than they did in the past. And now I'm sad to tell us that Chris Doria is dead. Yeah, I know the manga's going on. But man, I still think why that game has to be a gacha game. I could it be a console game instead. People have been feeling that maybe I'm being watched right now, or is my smartphone listening to everything I say? This is why sensors are like, watch your thoughts around the time, communicate with you, say something, let's say that's what we start a core with people t today to 10 years ago. Yep, it was remastered, publisher Babco, format, that's a couple of different things. Genre recapture, multiplayer action, release date Thursday for Japan, but 10th for uh, the West. Uh huh, Seto to be reviewed. Alright. They're talking about the possibilities of a sequel, and they already got a story thing in mind. Oh, I like this development. I'm still surprised that Sony actually gave them the IP for this. I remember hearing rumblings about some game that was being made by the same devs, or kind of the same devs in the ballpark of Freedom Wars. Well, we learned about that recently, but now Freedom Wars Remaster is happening, so I guess we got two cakes. And if this leads to a sequel, three cakes. I am still friggin' excited about this. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. Just hype, this just came out of nowhere. Uh, the Vita means life. Listen, people, don't be sad that another game for the Vita is gone. Be happy that the Vita means life and it created this life because of, of the platform it was on. Don't be sad that it's gone. Be happy that it lived. And now we'll live again in a different format. Oh, please, nobody dropped the ball on this.